Chase the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Also welcome if you are new. I am so excited you guys picked my channel to get you motivated today. In today's video we are doing a whole house clean with me so it's going to give you motivation to get anything on your to-do list done. We got some regular daily cleaning. We also have a bunch of deep cleaning motivation. Just a little bit of everything. As always you're going to see Freya a good bit in this video just because that's life. I can't get anything done nowadays without her being around because her naps are getting shorter and shorter. Luckily though, like today when I'm doing the laundry, she's really good at just kind of wandering from her room, the boys room, my room without really getting in too much trouble. So I can get a good amount done as long as I have the gate shut, knowing that she at least can't get downstairs while I'm trying to work. If you guys have been with my channel for a while, you know laundry is like my biggest nemesis. I don't know what it is about it, but the whole process of laundry, I just don't like. I don't like having to bring all the dirty laundry from upstairs, downstairs. Um, I don't mind having it in the washer and dryer. That part doesn't bother me. But then bringing everything from downstairs, back upstairs, just the whole process is literally my least favorite thing. Now, normally when I do the laundry, um, the boys are home and they help me with all of their clothes, but on this day I was trying to get caught up. I was way behind. As you can see, there's still dirty laundry in the boys' hamper, in our hamper. So I was just trying to get as much done as possible and not worry about them being around or not. Because honestly, when I do make them help, as nice as it is because it takes a little bit of stress off me, it takes a lot longer just because they're not as proficient about going through it all. As a lot of you guys know, the boys' room is their responsibility. I usually leave it up to them to tidy up, straighten up, like I said, laundry and everything. But I do like going in here a couple times a month. Probably about once a week is my goal, but sometimes it's every other week. Just to go around, dust things, clean the windows, and do the deeper, more thorough cleaning that... Um, sure, I could let them do, but let's be realistic, I'd still be going in here once... A week to every other week to do it properly <laughs> if you guys are new here I just want to take a quick second to introduce myself because um, you might be wondering how old my boys are with me talking about them I have two older boys who are nine and six who in this video at this point are at school and then Freya is my youngest she is a year and a half I can't believe she is a year and a half already but man time goes so fast I am married to my husband, Bobby. We will be married 12 years this July. That is insane to me that we have been married for that long. It seems like just yesterday, but at the same time, it feels like we've known each other forever. So one of those weird like time twists. Um, we live in Wisconsin currently, um, but are making the transition to move to Florida. A lot of people ask us why and um, part of it is want and part of it is for medical reasons of my husband and my son. 
Um, moving down south is just going to be a better overall fit for us. Plus, my parents live in Florida, so we plan on moving to the Daytona Beach area, that like Volusia County, to be near my parents. Um, so, yeah, if you're new here, introduce yourself in the comments. I love getting to know all of you guys. I read all of your comments, and I try to get to all of your comments and respond to them. I'll be honest, though, I don't always... But I do love, love reading all your comments. So let me know in the comments below where you're from, your name, um, and any other fun facts you want to tell me. And then once I was all done in the boys' room, I wanted to move on to Freya's room. Freya's room is never too horribly bad just because obviously she can only make so much of a mess. Um, but once again, just getting the laundry dealt with. And okay, so you guys are going to see her crib in a second once I'm done with all this laundry. And I need to know if you have toddlers or if you just remember back when your kids were toddlers. Did they teeth on their cribs? Because I swear every one of my children have destroyed the cribs because they chew on them, gnaw on them. And you're going to see in a second, like these little bite marks throughout her entire crib. <laughs> um, but I did want to go in there and like do a thorough cleaning of the slats and everything on her crib because they always get um, just really dirty and grimy and Ba babies and kids are gross <laughs> so I just wanted to go in with my thieves cleaner and wipe everything down really really well So I think one of the biggest misconceptions about me is people thinking that I love to clean or that I am always motivated to clean, which is 100% not true. Um, I am the type of person that I don't love to clean. I am not a naturally clean and tidy person. You can ask my mother growing up. You can ask Bobby when it comes to my car because that's probably the worst spot. Um, I'm not good at keeping up with my car. I'm just not naturally that type of person. Um, but as I grew up, I learned that having a clean and tidy home makes me happy. Like I physically feel so much better in, when a space is tidy compared to when it's a disaster and dirty and all these things. So I clean more out of necessity than love for it. Um, and I guess in a way that makes it that I do love cleaning because I've learned my why to what I am doing. Um, and that's often what motivates me as well. So if you have a hard time getting motivated to clean or you're just like, came here, I hate cleaning. I highly, highly recommend finding your why and your purpose to cleaning and keeping a clean home because that is the one thing that keeps me motivated to do the things I do on a daily basis. It's not because I love turning on my vacuum and <laughs> vacuuming the carpets. It's I love being able to sit on the couch and watch my favorite show and look into the kitchen and not feel anxious by all the dishes on this in the sink or all the dog hair on the floor and everything like that. So for me, it's not about the motivation to do it naturally. It's about the motivation in the why and all of that. So if you are ever struggling with motivation, I really, really challenge you to think about your whys 
before you move on because once you figure out your why, I promise it'll make it a lot easier to keep going. All right, so this is the boys' bathroom. I'm hoping you can tell by all the toothpaste everywhere. <laughs> oh, I swear that's just mom life. Toothpaste on the counters, on the sink. You never know, you may find it on the toilet. I don't know how all the toothpaste get everywhere, but it definitely does. Um, I like to go in here and tidy it up about once a week as well. I used to do it a lot more often, but this is one thing that I'm trying to get the boys better at is cleaning their own bathroom. Um, and I know if I go in here regularly, I'm just going to do it for them because I can't handle like seeing this all the time um so i try not to go in here on a regular basis like i said it's their bathroom there's no reason for me to go in here but i did need to get in here and give it a good thorough mommy cleaning compared to their just basic wipe down they are getting a lot better especially bjorn i actually had bjorn who is my six-year-old um clean up the half bath the other day before we had guests over. I'm really working on giving each of the kids a little bit more responsibility and everything just so that I don't want my boys to one, move out of the house and not know how to live on their own because mommy did everything for them. But I also really want to make sure that my kids grow up knowing that it is not a woman's responsibility to do all the housework. It is not your mommy's job to do everything. We all live in this house, we all make messes, and it is everyone's job to contribute to the house. The funny thing about when I had Bjorn do the half bath is right away he's like, so because I did such a good job, mommy, I think you should give me Robux for this. I'm like, I think that's a great idea. So I told her, I'm like, so for every time you do a big job for me, I'm going to give you 10 Robux. And then for every time I do a big job, you have to give me 10 Robux. He quickly realized that I do a lot more than he does. And we do do allowances and stuff like that. Um, but it's for specific things and <laughs> helping out around the house and doing the basics, like cleaning a bathroom doesn't earn you Robux in my book at least. Alright, so here it is the next day and I wanted to do a good thorough cleaning on the kitchen. So I'm just going to start by tidying everything up, just doing the basics. Um, but then I wanted to clean the bas backsplash and the counters and the appliances and cabinets and like I said, just a little bit of everything. Um, oh, and a touch on the allowance thing. So I'm curious if you guys had allowances growing up. I personally never did. Um, my parents were very good at they gave us money for whatever we needed when we were growing up keyword is needed uh it wasn't a i need this or i want these new sneakers it was i need new sneakers and my parents would buy them for us um my parents were very big into you earned what you had and learning the um meaning and value of money so it's one thing i I'm trying to put and instill in my kids. Um, it's a little bit different nowadays because when I was a little bit older than Xander, I had a babysitting job. Like I could already find work and I feel like nowadays it's a lot harder for kids to do stuff like that. Um, so when it comes to allowances, basic household chores, they do not get allowances for. Like I said, cleaning the bathroom, unloading the dishwasher, cleaning their bedroom, I do not give them money for. However, um, when it comes to like picking up the dog poop outside, I don't think that's a basic household chore. So we do give them Robux for that. Um, 
but they get paid once a month. They don't get paid every time they do it. Um, and then if they do really well at school, report cards are a big time for them. If they get a good report card, they get um, money for that. And that's going to look different for each kid. Xander is very, very gifted. Um, he, I don't know. He's just someone that can, doesn't have to study, will get straight A's, is doing three times his grade level in school. Not three times. Three, three grades higher when it comes to like math and reading and is just like insane flourishing. Bobby was joking around about where he got all his brains from because <laughs> we feel like we were not that good in school. Um, and then Bjorn is doing very well in school, but he is doing what kids his age are doing. So we reward based off of report cards. I think that's a very important area. And I also feel like school is work for the kids. Like we go to work to get paid. They go to school so that they can get an education so that when they grow up, they can get a job and support their family as well. It was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. It struck me like lightning. You broke my chains and released me. And they turned into nights on the couch in your apartment. No, I am not the same. Everything has changed. Every day. So in this little bowl, I just used really hot water, like burn your hands, hot water, um, a tablespoon of powdered Tide, borax, and then just a splash of the Fabuloso because I love the way it smells. Um, I've been playing with like different cleaning solutions that work really well. Um, and I've used this on my floors and I wanted to try it on the kitchen cabinets. It works really, really well on the floor, just building up um, taking off old residue and I wanted to just like I said try on the cabinets and the backsplash I am still using my thieves cleaner on the counter just because I like the way that works um, But you're gonna see here in a little bit when I dump this water out later how well this works and I did when I remember try to wring out the um, Washcloth actually in the sink and not in the bowl but it didn't always happen so even just that little bit the water got really really gross So I have had people ask me what my favorite like go-to essential oils are and I have to say my go-to ones are lemongrass, thieves, and peppermint. However, I did find this really good one um, and I heard it from Vanessa or Brittany Venesuari. I always probably pronounce her name wrong. Um, and then Oh, I can't think of this other guy. Another guy mentioned it who does interior design and I wanted to try it and it's really good. Um, I cannot remember which one it is. Whatever. The main like Young Living ones I like are the Thieves, the Peppermint, and the Lemongrass. Um, but now I'm just going in and doing my uh, appliances. I saw on Go Clean Co's um, Instagram. I love following Go Clean Co. If you guys are not, definitely go check them out on Instagram. I saw her recommend doing the Dawn Power Wash to wash your appliances and then spraying it with your stainless steel cleaner and letting it sit for a second so that the oils really soak in and then buffing it clean. Oh my goodness, it works so well. Like, the stainless really does like absorb a good amount of it to give it that like sparkling spotless feel without it being greasy so 
highly recommend trying that. Like I said, just use the Dawn Power Wash or any multi-purpose spray cleaner. Clean it really well. Get those fingerprints off. Get the little food particles off. Everything that's on it. And then spray it with your stainless steel cleaner and let it sit and then do it. So good. Definitely a 10 out of 10 recommend. All right, so here you're going to see the water and what I meant by how dirty it was. Just that little bit of cleaning of the cabinets and the backsplash. I will definitely be doing this a lot more often because I think it worked really, really well. Um, also, I do switch out these rags regularly. If you guys are new here, often people like realize I use a lot of the same colors, so it doesn't look like I switch them out, um, but I definitely do. I'm just then going into the dining room, tidying everything up. Bobby has been um, buying so much stuff for his car that I feel like I am constantly getting Amazon packages between stuff that I order um, and then stuff that he's ordering and it all just gets piled up on this dining room. Plus the kids play their games here. They do their homework here. Like everyone congregates in this dining room. I can help my own frustration. I think I like it. I think I like it. Got nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. Cause I think I like it. Tell me if you like me too. How can you move the way you do? It's making me crazy. So here in a little bit, you're going to see that Bjorn was actually home from school this day. He wasn't feeling great. Um, he was having some issues breathing. And unfortunately, with all the COVID stuff, it makes it really difficult for him. This is part of the reason we're moving is actually for Bjorn. He's my son that deals with the most health issues. Um, but it can be very frustrating right now because if the wrong person is working in the offices, um, he often gets sent home from school and then I have to call his doctor and she has to be like, yeah, he's got asthma. Yeah, he's got this. So he was home this day. Um, he did actually need to come home this day though. His breathing was really bad and I need to give him a nebulizer treatment and they can't do that at school. But it's always such a headache because I have to either get him COVID tested or get his doctor just to quickly write another note to let them know it's just him. Um, it's only when their normal nurse is out. Otherwise, she's really, really good about it. Like, she knows my son. She knows his medical history. But whenever it's someone else in the office, I am always, always getting phone calls. Um, so, you're going to, like I said, see him in a bit. There he is. <laughs> Eating Oreos. Watching. What is he watching? Oh, he has been all about watching the royalties family vloggers lately. Uh, the kids go through different phases and for the past two weeks, it's been the royalties. They have been all about that family vlogger lately, um, which I don't mind. I think they're a really cute family. So 
and here you can see all the dog hair dog hair dog hair everywhere but I wanted to go in and quickly change this filter on the air filter and go around and just it pulls in all the dust from this bottom section so it always gets hair around the base because it's literally just pulling in everything but I love that these are fabric filters that I just throw in the wash and done like it's super easy I've been staring at my phone too long Feel my eyes getting tired And the battery is long, long gone Oh no, no I totally went off on a tangent and totally forgot why I was bringing up Bjorn being home and his medical stuff So a lot of people always ask like why Florida, all these different things And I've mentioned a big part of it is Bobby um, he, with him being a disabled veteran, different issues he has really gets worse in the winter and in the cold. Like his pain levels are so much higher in the cold. Um, but Bjorn, our youngest son, having asthma is really bad in the winter. Um, he also has severe eczema that isn't that bad in the summer in the humidity. He does really good in humid air. And in the dry, dry winter months, his skin is just horrendous. Like, we're constantly having to put on Vaseline and his medicated cream, um, which I don't love doing, especially since his medicated cream, like, one of the side effects is thinning of his skin. Um, but we don't really have an option. Benadryl is a regular thing he's got to take just purely to help relieve him of some of his itching and stuff like that. So we are really just looking for somewhere that one, we like the idea of Florida because my parents are there, but two, just, I feel like it's going to be life changing on my son and we have the opportunity to make this move. So why not make it now when my kids are young enough that it's not going to affect them drastically. Like if they were in high school and we're going to be like, oh, we're moving cross country away from all your friends in high school. Like, we are at a really good age to do this, so that's why we're making this move now and not in 10 years from now. So this sofa is just short enough, barely, like by the skin of its teeth, just short enough that um, our robot vacuum has a hard time going under it. So you'll see we get a good buildup of dust and dander and everything under this sofa. So I do like to move it out about once a week and vacuum under it and mop under it and just get it really, really clean. Um, it's the only piece of furniture in the house. Actually, I don't even know if it's the actual sofa or if it's that the springs have given out over time and that's where the issue is because it can go slightly under. It just can't go all the way under. So a part of that makes me believe that it's actually the springs that have lowered in the center of the sofa rather than the actual height of the sofa. So I'm always asked about this carpet shampoo. So this is the Bissell Pet Pro um, and I use the OxyClean carpet shampoo from Walmart. 
Those are my favorite things. Um, however, I have heard really, really good things about the Hoover Shampooer. I just don't have it. This is the one I have, um, and I love it. So if you're taking my opinion, I love this one. And I get everything pet. Like, if it comes in a pet version, I don't care if it's $100 more. I buy the pet version because dogs, as you can see by the clumps of hair that have come out of this thing. <laughs> It is one thing I do love about shampooing, like I vacuum regularly and I like to do like a very slow, thorough vacuuming, um, which by the way, if overall vacuum, if I had to pick my favorite overall, like you can only own one vacuum for the rest of your life vacuum, the Shark Duo would definitely be my pick for if I could only have one vacuum. Um, and I like to do a really thorough, like slow vacuum with that, but even with that, like this hair, this shampoo still pulls out a lot of hair that's been matted in here. Um, oh, I was going to ask you guys. So you guys always give me some of the best suggestion for different cleaning supplies and cleaning tools and things like that. Um, so I wanted to ask you guys if you have any cleaning tools that you are like, these are amazing. No one ever talks about them. Nobody even knows about these. Let me know, shoot me either a comment here or preferably shoot me a message on Instagram and send me it. Like I love trying new products and I love getting your guys' opinions because half the time, the reason I can show you this stuff is because honestly, just because I have a platform. Um, but a lot of the advice I have learned over time is from you guys and it's taught me so, so much. So I would love to know what your favorite cleaning supplies are and cleaning gadgets. You guys know I love my gadgets. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. That really, really helps out my channel. So every time you guys like and comment and share, especially share, I love when you guys share, like that is something you guys can do that tremendously helps me out. So if you guys do that, I would love it. And if you're new here, I would love if you would subscribe. It is absolutely free. People always ask if it's free. It is, um, but don't forget to hit the notification bell because YouTube's really good at not notifying you even if you're subscribed if you don't hit that notification bell. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye!